When is a particle not a particle? When it's a quasi-particle, of course. But to understand what that means, you have to understand that particles themselves are really just energetic excitation in the underlying fields that pervade the entire universe. Quasi-particles emerge from the complex interactions of those fundamental particles, but they only emerge in solids, liquids, and plasmas. Using quasi-particles promises to provide us with new materials, new technologies, things with really exotic properties, but it also makes us question whether fundamental particles really are so fundamental after all. To make a quasi-particle, you just take a material, often a metal, and put it under really, really high temperature or pressure or really powerful magnetic fields, and then you observe the collective behavior of the particles inside that material. Holes were one of the first quasi-particles to be discovered in the 1940s. It's sort of like the opposite of an electron or the absence of an electron where one should be. And treating it as a particle has provided really huge leaps in technology. That's how we made the semiconductors that power pretty much all of our complicated electronics now. Even big companies like Microsoft are investing pretty heavily in quasi-particle research because of their promise to provide new materials. The very existence of quasi-particles and the fact that they're not particles makes you question, are the other particles really particles? Do particles come from the behavior of something else? We really don't know, but thinking about quasi-particles may lead us to a major rethink of how we think about everything.